This is the Music History Today podcast for September 3rd. On today's show, The Waz puts on a festival, Rush, George Michael, and Culture Club debut new projects, and a TV and radio classic ends. First up, though, on this date in 1963, Frank Sinatra sold most of his reprise records label to Warner Brothers Records. In 1965, Lou Christie recorded the song Lightning Strikes. In 1966, the last episode of the TV and radio classic show The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet was shown. The show also co-starred teen idol Rick Nelson. In 1970, the Dave Clark Five broke up. In 1982, Steve Wozniak, the Waz of Apple computer fame, threw the first of his two US Music Festival weekend concerts. In 2001, police stopped System of a Down from performing a free concert in Los Angeles, which of course resulted in a riot. In 2007, My Chemical Romances, Gerard Way married bassist Lindsay of Mindless Self-Indulgence backstage during a music festival. In 2010, singer Cheryl Cole divorced English football player, or soccer player for those in America, Ashley Cole. In 2011, producer Mark Ronson married actress Josephine De La Balm. In 2016, Heidi Range from the group The Sugar Babes married Alex Partikas. And in 2022, a tribute concert was held at Wembley Stadium in London, England in honor of the Foo Fighters' late drummer, Taylor Hawkins. In classical music in 1881, Anton Bruckner finished his sixth symphony, and in 1912, the piece Five Pieces for Orchestra by Arnold Schoenberg premiered. In theater in 1989, the musical Into the Woods closed on Broadway. Albums that were released on September 3rd include in 1971 when Fleetwood Mac released Future Games, in 1978 Diana Ross released Ross, in 1982 Golden Earring released Cut, in 1984 Iron Maiden released Power Slave, in 1990 Judas Priest released Painkiller, and George Michael released Listen Without Prejudice Volume 1. In 1991, Rush released Roll the Bones. Stevie Nicks released Time Space. Blues Traveler released Travelers and Thieves. In 1996, Tina Turner released Wildest Dreams and The Knack released Banding. In 2007, Yes released Yes Live at Montreux 2003. And Procol Harum released the EP for A Whiter Shade of Pale. And in 2012, Mark Knopfler released Privateering. Singles that were released in the UK on September 3rd include in 1971 when The Carpenters released Superstar and in 1976 The Bay City Rollers released I Only Want to Be With You. Meanwhile in America, in 1968, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released A Little Less Conversation and Almost in Love. In 1974, Elton John released The Bitches Back. In 1984, Cyndi Lauper released All Through the Night. In 1985, R.E.M. released Driver 8. In 1991, R.E.M. was added again, this time releasing their top 10 smash, Shiny Happy People. And in 2002, Christina Aguilera released her big hit, Dirty. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 3rd include Steve Jones of the Sex Pistols, Blues Man Freddie King, Blues Man Memphis Slim, DJ Envy, Rapper The BG, Guitarist Adam Jones of SM6, Singer August Alsina, Rapper Rich Brian, singer OMI, rapper Red Foo of LMFAO, Christian Anthony of Chase Atlantic, singer Love Leo, singer Park Soo Young of the group Red Velvet, Charlie Seen of Hollywood Undead, 
rapper Conan, singer Jake Quickenden, Cone McClaslin of Sum 41, Aaron Smith of Romeo Void, Don Brewer of Grand Funk Railroad, Eric Bell of Thin Lizzy, and also the group Them, singer Jennifer Page, Jonathan Siegel of Camper Van Beethoven, Perry Bamante of The Cure, Tomple Glazer of The Glazer Brothers, country music singer Hank Thompson, Leroy Smith of Sweet Sensation, George Biondo of Steppenwolf, Mike Harrison of Spooky Tooth, Al Jardine of The Beach Boys, Kenny Pickett of The Creation, Doug Pinnock of King's X, Rob Hurst of Midnight Oil, Vaden Todd Lewis of The Toadies and also The Burden Brothers, Chris Knox of Tall Dwarfs, singer Suzanne Freytag of Propaganda, singer Lester Noel of Beats International, saxophonist Ihan Ursahin, saxophonist David Sanchez, drummer Mike Vengren of Disturbed, and pianist Alexander Ivovich Gorilyov. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 3rd include composer Thomas Norris, who passed away in 1790 at the age of 49. Composer Vaclav Horak passed away in 1871 at the age of 71. Composer Lucien Denise Gabriel Elberic Magnard passed away while defending his property against an invading German army in 1914 during World War I at the age of 49. The man considered the father of the Berlin Operetta, composer and conductor Paul Linke, passed away in 1946 at the age of 79. Composer Robert Hurried passed away in 1951 at the age of 67. Composer Joseph Lamb passed away in 1960 at the age of 72. Composer Frico Cafenda passed away in 1963 at the age of 79. Composer Joseph Marks passed away in 1964 at the age of 82. Singer and guitarist Alan Wilson of the group Canned Heat passed away from the suicide by a drug overdose in 1970 at the age of 27. Singer and actor Dave Street passed away from cancer in 1971 at the age of 53. Composer Harry Parch passed away in 1974 at the age of 73. Composer Arthur Schwartz passed away in 1984 at the age of 83. The drummer for the Count Basie Orchestra, Joe Jones, passed away in 1985 at the age of 73. Composer John McDowell passed away in 1985 at the age of 58. The composer for the Christmas classics, A Holly Jolly Christmas, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, Johnny Marks passed away in 1985 at the age of 75. Singer Major Lance passed away in 1994 at the age of 55. The trumpet player who played on the Beatles song, Got to Get You Into My Life, Ian Hamer passed away in 2006 at the age of 73. Musician Carter Albrecht passed away in a gun accident in 2007 at the age of 34. Country music singer Janice Martin passed away in 2007 at the age of 67. Mike Edwards of ELO, or Electric Light Orchestra if you will, passed away very strangely from a rolling bale of hay coming down a hill in 2010 at the age of 62. Saxophonist Noah Howard passed away in 2010 at the age of 67. Yoon B of the group Code passed away in a car accident in 2014 at the age of 21. Country music singer Johnny Rebel passed away in 2016 at the age of 77. The legendary Mr. Walter Becker of the group Steely Dan passed away from cancer in 2017 at the age of 67. Songwriter LaShawn Daniels passed away in 2019 at the age of 41. And jazz singer Ruth Ole passed away in 2021 at the age of 97. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 4th, when in 2002... Kelly Clarkson won the first season finale of American Idol. 